morning, Center Hill. Today is Tuesday, October 3rd, and it's National Mean Girls Day. She's the queen bee, the star. Those other two are just her little workers. Regina George. And MTV starts now. announcements. The nine weeks is coming to an end and most of you already know but if you're in a nine week class your final exam is coming up this week. Wednesday first and second block take their exam and Thursday third and fourth block take their exam. Be an academic all-star and study. Also did you miss the first picture day? Well if you did makeup pictures are this Thursday. Look real handsome or pretty so that we can see that gorgeous face in the yearbook. On Friday for those in semester classes you will have your nine weeks exam. And if you can make it through this week, we will have a three-day weekend for our fall break. Now, let's get into this week's weather. Today, we bask in the sun at a high of 87 degrees and a low of 65. Tomorrow, it'll be partly cloudy and the high is 85 and the low is 62. Thursday, some rain sets in and the temperature lowers to 78 and a low of 65. As we near the weekend, Friday, the clouds stick around and present us with cool temperatures, a high of 69 and a low of 56. That was your weather, now let's take a look at our lunch and birthdays. If you haven't been up to date on what is going on in today's news and pop culture, here's Veronica Waldrop with this week's Reality Check. Hey everyone, I'm Veronica Waldrop and I'm bringing you this week's Reality Check. In the last week, attention has risen on the possible drinking water crisis for the millions of residents in the state of Louisiana. Over the summer, a severe drought lowered the Mississippi River's water levels, causing a saltwater intrusion from the Gulf of Mexico. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers are working to prevent this situation. However, Louisiana Governor claims there is not one thing that is going to solve this challenge for us. It's going to be a combination of lots of different efforts. Local and state officials are working on just-in-case solutions, such as connecting to water supplies and bringing in millions of gallons of water to dilute the salt. Moving over to our U.S. National Zoo, it's the end of an era for our beloved giant pandas, who will be returned to their home on December 7th of this year, giving visitors less than five months to see the bears that have been a staple since 1972. After this transition, there will only be four giant pandas left in the U.S. located at the Atlanta Zoo, whom will also be returning to China at the end of 2024. The only other zoos to house pandas in the U.S. were San Diego, California and Memphis, Tennessee, where which both have already mourned the loss of these lovely creatures. So if you're wanting to see a giant panda soon, you might want to start planning your next trip. To wrap it up, let's touch on pop culture. It's officially fall. Pumpkins, football, and time to get a boo. Speaking of that, last week at the Arrowhead Stadium, the Kansas City Chiefs had a special surprise when Miss Taylor Swift showed up to see her boo, Travis Kelsey. And suddenly, all the Swifties are Chiefs fans. But they're not the only new lovebirds. Kendall Jenner and Bad Bunny gave front row seat to their relationship at the Gucci show in Milan last weekend. Where will these couples go from here? We never know. I'm Veronica, and that's your reality check. We'll see you next week. Thank you, Veronica. Very informative. Now, here's what's happening at the Hill. Today, our Lady Mustangs take on Saltillo here at home starting at 5, and it's also their senior night. The theme for that game is Senior Citizen Night. 
Continuing with volleyball, Thursday we will have an in-school Hawaiian-themed game against DeSoto Central. The game will be during first and second block. Tickets are on sale for $7 in the cafeteria during lunch. Students who do not purchase a ticket will sit in the cafeteria during the game. And Friday Night Lights have been moved to Thursday. We play Olive Ranch starting at 7. The theme for that game is Toga Night. Buy a sheet and a headband for your best Greek attire. And to end our week, Cross Country has their Mustang Stampede Invitational. And our band is traveling to Grenada for state evaluations, which determines if they go to 6A championships. Let's wish them luck. Let's come together this week to cheer on our Mighty Mighty Mustangs. That was your show, Center Hill, so make sure you're checking the school website for more announcements, scholarship opportunities, and upcoming events. And as always, here's your quote of the day. Lo importante es creer en algo con tanta fuerza que nunca te desanimes. Salma Hayek. Make sure you smash that like button, hit the bell so you never miss an episode, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we have social media. So follow our Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. That's all we got for you today, Center Hill. Thanks for watching, and remember, life is a roller coaster, and we're just here for the ride. Oh,